In today's nutrient lab, you'll need the following. A spot plate, two test tubes, a test tube rack, and test tube tongs. You will need a beaker and a hot plate. So I've already started heating it up. And the, um, the various nutrients we'll be testing today is starch, vegetable oil, albumin of an egg or I should say protein and glucose solution. We also be testing water as uh, your control substance and the nutrients uh, will be tested using these particular tests. We have Lugol's iodine solution. We'll be using Sudan 4, Bioret solution and these two for the glucose feelings solution A and B. For the first test, we will be testing uh, first five drops of water. So you place five drops of water. Into one of the wells of the spot plate and you will place five drops of the starch solution into the other well. And then you will add two drops of Lugol's iodine solution. First we test water as the control and now we test for the starch. You see that? It gives you a blue black color. For the next test, we will be testing for fat with vegetable oil. But first, we always must start with, by testing water, the control. So we will place five drops of distilled water into one well. And then we we'll place five drops of vegetable oil into the next. And to test for fat, we'll be using the Sudan 4 solution. First we test water. And now we test for the fat. If you look closely, the Sudan 4 diluted into the water, but with the fat created little particles and it was a little darker too. The next test we'll be doing is test for protein and we will be using albumin or eggs. So the same idea as the other parts, you have to put five drops into one well and uh, we also have to test for water and this time we will be using the biuret reagent this one let's see what happens when I add it in water two drops Oops.
So the one with the egg came out slightly darker than the one with the water. And for this last part, we will be detecting uh, simple sugar, or I call it also glucose. We will be using two reagents, feeling A and feeling B solution. And for that, I will have to use a hot water bath, which has been starting from the beginning. And uh, once I'm ready, I will place my test tubes inside the beakers. So for that, you will need to bring the test tubes closer. Test tube number one and test tube number two. You will place 10 drops of distilled water into test tube one. So here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you will place 10 drops of the glucose that you're testing into test tube two. Remember, you always have to test once for water and once for the nutrient. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, a little bit more okay then we will add 10 drops of feeling a and 10 drops of feeling b in each of the test tubes so feeling a one two three four five six seven eight ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Now let's look what happens when I place feeling B in the solution. There we go. So this is before adding it to the hot water. They look pretty much almost the same. Now let's place them both in the hot water bath for a few minutes to see if there's going to be a change. Carefully place it in the water and observe. Use test tube one and test tube two. And we'll meet again in a few minutes. Hello, welcome back. It's been uh, five minutes that uh, the test tubes are in hot water bath and look at uh, test tube two the one that had the glucose turns to a brown orange however the one that had the water just stayed blue as you can see so whenever something has uh, glucose in it it will turn this color with the feeling a and b when you are finished make sure you turn off the heat and carefully remove the test tubes from the hot water using a D test tube tong. Here's a close up. There you go. So I have a question for you guys. Let's say I want to test an unknown substance and I want to know if it has carbohydrates, if it has starch. So let's see, I'm going to test this unknown substance. I will not tell you what it is. I'll give you a second. Think about it. Does this unknown substance contain starch? Remember, to test for starch, I must use Lugol's solution.